the gardener friends. I'm out here today in my garden with my mums. About a month ago, my mums started to try to bloom. It was the middle of June. Well, if your mums are trying to bloom in the middle of the summer like mine did, and you want them to wait until fall, I have some good news for you and I have some bad news. The good news is there's something we can do about that to make them wait until fall to bloom. The bad news is we should have done it back in May and now it's July. So even though we want our mums to bloom in the fall, they truly love hot, hot, sunny conditions. So that's why here in Oklahoma, they just explode with growth. They're all budded up, ready to bloom in June or July. To ensure that our mums wait to bloom until the fall, we will need to prune them back twice a year, early May and early July. You can remember it this way, by Mother's Day and 4th of July. I feel like I'm late to the mum game, but it's still the middle of July. Even though I wish I had pruned my mums back July 4th, I still have three months until fall. So I'm not gonna wait any later. I'm gonna prune them back today. My full sun mums will grow back quickly. So I'm going to probably prune those back to about 50%. My part sun mums, they're gonna grow back much slower. So I'm just gonna shear those back right below the buds. <laughs> There's several benefits to cutting our mums back throughout the summer. One of those is that it opens up that center that can often be rotted out from the moisture and the lack of sunshine. It opens that up and allows the air to circulate throughout the mum, allows sunshine to get in, and then it fills out with new growth, filling that out, making your plant nice and thick and full and more sturdy and strong so that it doesn't crack open and split in the fall because there's not any strength inside the plant. Pruning our mums also helps us to make sure that they stay in a, in a nice, short, mounded shape rather than getting too tall, leggy, and lanky. Good news, I think we saved fall. We have about eight to 12 weeks and, until we want our mums blooming for the fall. So that's plenty of time for them to put on some new growth, fill out, bud up, and be ready to bloom for us. If you're watching this video and it's after July, I don't suggest that you take much off your mums at all. You may just wanna wait it out this year, see how they do in the fall, and then make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna send out a prune your mums reminder to everybody so that we don't forget next May, Mother's Day, to prune our mums, and then again, 4th of July, we'll prune our mums again. And that way we can ensure we're gonna have happy, healthy, blooming mums in the fall. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you back here this fall. Your favorite hobby gardener.